Welcome to the Website Pros and Microsoft Office Live tutorial. Together, Website Pros and Office Live will be taking a deeper look into the steps necessary to build a successful web strategy. In this presentation, we are going to take a look at a few of the important steps you should take in planning and developing effective content for your website. Developing great website content combines an understanding of your target audience with effective writing and a strong call to action. Content development consists of several key elements including determining your audience, determining your tone, determining your call to action. Understanding each of these three main points will help you develop effective content that will help draw customers into your website to learn more about your products and services. Identifying who your audience is is essential in establishing the way your copy is written. A website should talk to your customers, whether they are industry professionals, casual shoppers, potential customers, or existing customers, your website copy should be directed to appeal to who is visiting your site. For example, are you writing for industry-specific professionals who understand specific terminologies, or are they casual shoppers? The writing style used to appeal to these two groups will be very different. In order to turn your website visitors into customers, you'll want to talk to your customers with language that they will easily relate to. Once you have determined your audience, there are a few simple techniques to follow when writing your website copy that will have lasting appeal. Writing effective website copy or text isn't difficult, but there are some rules that you can follow that will make your copy as effective as possible. Make sure that your copywriting is clear, concise, and easy to follow, is persuasive and effective, communicates a sense of urgency or excitement, is technically correct reflects your individual style and tone, includes keywords as often as possible without sounding repetitive, is sincere and avoids cliches and inflated claims, and finally, is a good reflection of your business. We all know that people respond to emotional appeals more readily than to intellectual appeal, so make full use of this fact in your advertising. Here are some things to consider. Show that you are a person or business that can be trusted by giving your audience something of value, like advice, interesting inside information, or helpful tips. You can indicate why your opinion here should be valued by giving some detail about your background and credentials. Arouse an emotion, such as happiness, comfort, security, or well-being. Give a reason for the emotion by appealing to emotional touchstones like, Your children are precious to you. Don't risk their future. Make sure you give your audience a course of action to follow, like call now or click here. When appealing to the emotions, your most powerful tools are words. Learn to use them to create the desired effect on your readers. Words can have literal meanings and emotional meanings. A house is a building where people live, but a home is much more. Some words have strong emotive appeals built in. The word chaos, for example, implies something much stronger than disruption. Select your facts carefully and make sure your facts support your point of view. The technique of rationalizing is giving people good reasons to believe what you're telling them. We all do this to ourselves every day. How many times have you said something to yourself like, My old car is going to start costing me money soon. I'd be better off buying a new one now. Tell your would-be customers that they'll save money in the long run by spending it now, and you've given them a reason to act immediately. In order to make the most of your copywriting, it is also important to emphasize and repeat your key points. Use logic and reasoning only when necessary. Be convincing in your presentation so that your audience stays focused on your message. Use plenty of emotional words and focus on the audience. While it's easy to talk about features in your copy, make sure you're also talking about the benefits to your customers. Keywords are an important aspect to your overall website content and a good call to action starts with strong keyword choices. The keywords you choose don't just affect how visitors read your content, they also affect how your website is indexed and ranked in search engines. Search engines look for websites that have the most relevant content to the keyword or keyword phrase that was typed in the search bar. Search results are going to present the best matched websites that can be found based on the search phrase. It is important to use specific and concise keyword phrases throughout your website's content in order to create a strong call to action and good search results. Here are key tips to keep in mind. Use common sense. 
If you're designing a Mexican restaurant website, use Mexican restaurant as part of your primary keyword. Common sense dictates that internet users will search for a business using a variation of the primary keyword, such as city, state, and Mexican restaurant. The main focus of your business should always be the primary keyword. Strike a good balance with your primary keyword. You want to avoid making primary keywords or terms that garner too many or not enough results. Continuing with the Mexican restaurant example, a good balance of keywords could contain Mexican restaurant, Mexican food, and margaritas. Margaritas could be replaced with other dishes, catering services, or live entertainment to help draw in the right visitors. Let's take a look at another example. The original call to action reads, shop our home decor store in Columbus, Ohio for window coverings, bedding, blinds, and drapery cleaning. This call to action is concise, but awkward. Shop our home decor store, although technically correct, is quite vague in creating a sense of purpose for visiting the store location. Drapery cleaning was thrown in with a list of products and amplifies the awkwardness of the shop command. A call to action only requires the primary keyword. Here's a new call to action for this site. Adorn your home with window coverings, bedding, and blinds from our Columbus, Ohio home decor store. Or another suggestion, revamp your home's interior with window coverings, bedding, and blinds from our Columbus, Ohio home decor store. Again, we've created a call to action that is not only more compelling for visitors, but also packed with keywords to get good search engine listings. In closing, developing great website content combines an understanding of your target audience with effective writing and a strong call to action. When developing your website content, you need to be sure to understand who your website is targeting in order to create the most compelling message. Here are some things to consider. Determine your audience. Who will be visiting your site? Determine your tone. Are you selling, informing, or persuading? Determine your call to action. What do you want your website visitors to do? Answering these basic questions will help you fine-tune your website content to target your ideal customers online. Thank you for joining this Website Pros and Microsoft Office Live tutorial. Website Pros specializes in the support of Microsoft Office Live customers looking for professional assistance with website design. Website Pros offers a complete do-it-for-me approach to website design and online marketing that alleviates the time and effort involved in building and managing a successful web presence. To contact a Website Pros professional, please call 1-866-834-7000.